AFL uh, Hot Wheels collectors. Got a nice selection of toy cars from a car boot sale I went to last week, which would have been the 20th, somewhere around about there. Somewhere last, um, uh, anyway, second, uh, third weekend in the month. Got some nice little finds here, so let's get started. First up, we have a split window Corvette from 1979. This has the White Wars version. Uh, apparently on South Texas Diecast, this is a French version. No idea how rare it is or whether it is worth anything. Apparently it is a French version, I think. Not entirely sure, but still nice though. Next up we have a Matchbox Mirrored Wheels Lamborghini Countach LP500S. Very nice pink sides there, mirror wheels working perfectly. Even the rear suspension still works, look at that. Perfect. Slight little bit of paint or something on the rear wheel there, or rear end there. Small spoiler, not the big huge massive ones. Nice little design tampa on the top there. Overall a very nice little car. Chevy Nomad, later version because it doesn't have the opening hood, that's when the hood was sealed shut, still, nice basic uh, magenta I'd say, or red at the side, nice pinstripe down the side, overall very nice colour. Next up we have a High Rakers split window 63 Corvette, yeah definite High Rakers because it has the uh, thing in the back. Not in too good a condition, but still nice. I think this is the French version, I'm not 100% on that. But either way, the high raker action does still work, just. Well, it pops up and down, so I'm happy. Doesn't really matter to me. What does matter is what I found next and on South Texas Diecast. Now, this one, you may remember a very long time ago, probably in one of these boxes over here, I showed you a Fiat... Uh, Uno or Fiat thingy, I can't remember what it was called, but either way, it was nice. Here is a French hair splitter. It's very nicely designed, nice tampoed on the side. Has the orange top on it, which I thought, oh, that's a bit strange, they usually have something else. But here's the other thing the Malaysia base is actually raised, and South Texas say it is a French version. No slight wear is on the side here, but to a collector, if that's in sort of like a collector's case, showing off, the only problem as well is the fact that the hood's broken as well. There should be a little uh, black catch on the top there, but unfortunately that has broken off. Still, it is nice though. Next up we have a Chevy Stocker with the yellow jackets, I think from 2006, somewhere thereabouts, or a multi-pack or something. Nice wasp on the side there. Nice yellow jackets tampon on the front. Very basic version. Definitely a later version because it has the uh, fuel tank or the exhaust pipe and the rope underneath. Not the fish hook and three grenades. Which is quite a nice variation here if you collect base variations. Saving that one for later. Next up we have a Majoretti BMW 3.i CS, CSI. Very nice indeed. Doors do open, which is rather surprising considering the fact that, as you can see, the rear end, that is one hole. There's usually supposed to be a bit of metal that goes along the door frame back there, but obviously not. Nice sort of like old design wheels. Suspension does work in these. Overall, not too bad a condition. Slight bit of chippage here and there. The original uh, rear end still intact. Still got the original tow hook. Very sharp as well, that. That's before health and safety sort of like came in and said you must remove sharp objects. Catapult with the hunchback uh, logo on the front of it. Just ignore the noises of my dog getting excited. Let's close the door. Ugh, I hate that dog. They're making noises, squeaking, whimpering. There we go then. Nice orange colour. Next up we have a rare beast on the UK roads, might not be so uncommon in sort of like your dry country so perhaps maybe uh, where South, uh, where the team of three 
Di uh, Diecast TV channel are. Uh, but they might have a different name for it. This is uh, on here. It's a Super GT BR251126. But this is basically a Mark II Escort. And the Mark II Escort came in the uh, RS version. The Mexico and the Monaco, I think. This is a basic rally version, I think. Simple tampo with GT Sports on the top. Very nice design. Very good condition as well. This is very nice, very collectible as well, these cars. But like I say, very hard to find. Now you think uh, Mark II, Ford related, is extremely rare and hard to find. Next up we have an 80s Corvette in uh, yellow. This one I think came from a special pack, because on South Texas Diecast this was the only one that they had advertised. Nice saw blade wheels anyway. Basic simple yellow structure on the side with Egypt written on the side. I don't know if it will come up properly on my thing, but definitely says Egypt. And of course, the thing I like about this is the fact that the inside has a sports bag on it. Love that idea. Next up, we have a very cool, if I can grab it, here we go, a very cool uh, Chevy Pro Stocker from Matchbox. Should have been sort of like your 70s, 80s NASCAR, I presume. With the number 14, Pepsi logo on it. Oops, there we go. Has a uh, Pepsi Challenger on it in the writing there. Number 14 on the sides, top. On the back, just has simple uh, Challenger. Very nice basic design. It's the super fast again. It's made in uh, Megadu or Meshu, wherever that is. Next up we have quite an interesting one, and probably one for um, any customers out there, or custom makers. Because uh, I don't know if this is a genuine one, or whether someone's done this for, like, uh, Ray Screws did with his Chevy Avalanche, is printing the Ray Screws on the side. It's a very cool Jeep Cherokee, but with Mr. Fixer on the side of it. Has uh, Mr. Fixer Home Appliance Repair. This might have been sort of like a little promotional piece to give to your child if you used him after a certain amount of times. Funny thing about this is the front end there. Fortunately, this doesn't show it very well. It's uh, got a picture of a toaster looking very sick and then after it has a happy toaster. Very cool indeed. Very nice as well. I don't know. Next up is a what I think is quite a rare collectible. It's the Auburn 852 uh, raised Malaysia base, but it's the all green white wall version. All green sides, all green top, green interior. No idea if it's this one or the tan interior that's collectible. I'm not 100% on that. I think this is probably the more commoner one. Also as well, just to show you the Malaysia base, it is raised. Pretty darn impressive. Next up we have a Dakar uh, vehicle, it's a rough trek, now don't worry about the actual uh, angle of the wheel, I thought it was broken but no they're actually meant to be like that. It's got a cool uh, spare wheel on the back as well, very innovative for the time, 217 written on the side, top end is pretty cool, cage bar on the front, slight bar on the back, tailgate's missing but that's to save on a bit of weight. Very nice overall car. Next up we have a nice British classic. We have the Rolls Royce Silver Spirit from Matchbox. Nice big metal metal casting this. I'm actually surprised that uh, Mattel uh, Hot Wheels didn't buy one of these and put sort of like uh, some fancy wheels on it. Opening doors, very nice gold colouring. But again, this is probably one of Matchbox's defining glories. And unfortunately, even though uh, Rolls Royce and Bentley are owned by BMW now, they were beautiful cars back in the day, and still are today. Next up, we have a Super Ganat, I think from the uh, Gorilla 5 pack. I'm not 100%, but I think that's, yeah, it's supposed to be a picture of a Gorilla on the side. Doesn't look like it, but it sure does look. Very gorilla-y. There we go. 
If you look hard enough at it long enough, I thought it was just flames, but it is actually a gorilla. Number 8 written on the side. Nice super gadget anyway. Next up we have a nice Range Rover from, believe it or not, Corgi Juniors. It's a little two-door van thing. No idea, I like this one because it's unique. Again, you can tell it's from Corgi because Corgi had this type of wheel back in the day. Very basic colours. Don't know if it was supposed to have stickers, tampos or anything on it. If it was, then, uh, well, they've gone. Evil Weevil with the faster than ever wheels so this will be one for Marty Franz because he likes the faster than ever wheels probably not one that he's going to collect though because of uh, the fact that it's not very good but the wheel it will spin for a very good time in fact let's see how long look at that still going and stops now how brilliant was that nice basic uh, tam hose just blue with orange eyes lovely vehicle I do like the evil weevil now you may remember a couple of videos ago I had a yellow uh, Peugeot GT rally car well Matchbox seems to be copying the uh, Hot Wheels one because here is the uh, Matchbox version of that one opening metal bit Hot Wheels made their bit plastic probably to save on weight but again this is a metal body plastic base unfortunately it's the Peugeot 205 Turbo 16 I've got the yellow version of this and this is the white version very nice colouring very nice indeed next up we have the extremely nice Phantom Corsair this is a beautiful car why on earth Hot Wheels stopped producing this car and didn't make a final run of it unless they did and I missed out on it but wow this is a beautiful looking car sort of almost uh, Batman sort of like esque because of the uh, sort of sleekness of it very 30s looking might have been a prototype but if it was then it should have been made because it's a beautiful car I would have liked to have owned one not quite finally, but uh, from the last car boot sale, I did actually have another vehicle. And one's just fallen down. I have this cool uh, Ford LTD colour changer, I think. I think Matchbox did make colour changes, but as you can see, the colour isn't exactly there. I think it is supposed to be a colour changer. It's very nice either way. That was one that I missed out on the uh, last video. As well as these two one Canadian version of the Speedster or whatever this one's called but this is the Canadian version purely because it has the gold wheels and the Hot Wheels tampo on the back very cool car indeed very worn but still nice and then we also have this very nice uh, Studebaker or Stutzbaker whatever you want to call it but this again also has the raised Malaysia base on it so again, another French casting. Not entirely sure of that though. Still nice though. Anyway, let me just reach down behind here. Grab out the one that fell down. Which we shall show off. This is actually uh, the Majoretti dump truck. Which is called the uh, Bernie Carrier. This is one that you might recognise as a matchbox. But this is actually Majoretti. Again, standard tipping sort of motion on the back. Very cool indeed. Very basic design, but again, it's Majoretti. And I do like Majoretti. Next up, we have this very early uh, Matchbox Ford pickup. In basic red. Probably a 1950s, 60s pickup. I think Junkyard Jez or Junkyard Guy will be able to confirm this. Cool thing about this, you may remember the um, little Renault 5 from Majoretti. Well... This too has cool steering features. I think the rod on the uh, middle there is a bit longer on one side so that you could sort of like push it to one side so that you could turn it to the left, turn it to the right. It's cool nonetheless. Next up we have a Volvo Matchbox, uh, or Dodge, sorry, Dodge car uh, crane truck, complete with the original uh, crane on it. Now this is by Matchbox early in the day. This is all one whole section. The crane doesn't lift up and down, but later on they did make the crane lift up and down. 
but to find it with the hook on it, very rare. This hook usually gets broken off or is removed by parents because of the um, safety of it, because that hook is actually quite sharp. And if that were to catch a child's nose, face or anything, it would really hurt them. Next up, we have the very cool uh, car transporter. And I'm a bit sad, but I think the cars on the top there are princesses. Matchbox were a UK-based company, so to make a British Leyland car go on top. Again, you've got the red, yellow and blue. I don't know why we couldn't have red, white and blue cars on there, but I suppose the white is for the plastic top. Again, I do think they are princesses, which is the uh, Austin Princess. Beautiful, lovely car made by British Leyland. Very nice indeed. Final of the Lucy's, we have this very cool Matchbox uh, tractor shovel. It's been outdoors, been played with, definitely. But as you can see, has a full functioning scoop at the front, which you can lift, lift up, and lift down. Slight bit of damage on the uh, bottom bit here. Yeah, there's a massive huge crack on it. On that side there. Bit of a bummer, but still nice nonetheless. Anyway, managed to find two very nice carded Matchbox things. First up, we have the Age of Steam from Matchbox, 40 years of British Railway, limited edition MB43 steam locomotive. And this is from... Oh, it doesn't actually say... Oh, here we go. Date underneath. Uh, Matchbox... Uh, oh, no, it doesn't even have a date. Has foreign languages, but no actual. Oh, 1987. So this is basically 40 years of the steam railway. A very nice uh, steam locomotive. Common basic sort of um, one they would have had. This one. It is very nice. Had to uh, rearrange it in the box for someone to flip it upside down. But it is very nice. Like the other ones I showed you a couple of videos ago. It is very nice, and I'm glad to find it. Also as well, you may remember the uh, carded uh, MB card I found at a car boot sale. Well, I found another one. I found a 61 Abrams N1 tank. Carded and very nice condition. Short card, of course. This is a 1993 Matchbox. So probably 93, 94. Very nice tank indeed. Heavy as well because I think it's all metal. Plastic base, but metal top. Very heavy. And that is pretty much it for now. I have uh, found these three cars here. They've been sitting around for a while. All of those have done. So now to do the photographing. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, little update. I have not seen any J or K case cars. So updates might not be until further notice. Sorry about that. But if I do find some, then great. See ya.